Hello guys, welcome back to a quick tip. Uh, this is a very short quick tip in uh, Cinema 4D using Fumafix. This time we will talk about actually the using of Wavelet. So uh, the Wavelet, very short, is... Uh, I'll give you an example here. I have two texts which are used as an object source and then uh, I rendered only the smoke portion out of it. And on my left side I got Wavelet on and on my right side I got uh, just a default sim. Um, and as you can see, it's much more realistic, much more smooth. Um, you can see the detail in the smoke compared to the default. It looks kind of a little bit blurry actually. Um, so if you go in with the wavelet, you'll get a much more realistic look. And But it's going to increase your sim time as well. So I uh, just want to show you very quick how to set that up. But uh, be aware that of course you're going to increase your sim time on it. Um, so basically what you would do, um, you <coughs> will use this simple uh, scene here, we have a Fumafix grid, we have an object in here, a figure, and then we need to put them inside an object, so let's add an object source, and in the object source we'll add in the figure, and let's go down and decrease the smoke to 1.5 like so and the fuel we can disable that and also we can hide them from the from the view and uh, let's go into the fuel fix enable the gpu reboot uh, and when you <coughs> when you're dealing with this with the wavelet make sure that you're gonna export the velocity channel as well so go down and swirl down the exporter channel go over to velocity and include that uh, it's needed it says here velocity velocity is needed for motion blur effects wavelet turbulence and this is the part we want of course so uh, and make sure you have set up your path for where you want to save your wavelet and in the object source we have it inside so it will be simmed let's add just quickly two lights here one here one over here and make sure that they have ray traced hard oh, shadow on both of them like so and if we go back to the film fix so that was the first step we did the velocity with the channel uh, illumination let's bring in the lights it's just a very quick setup here I'm not gonna it's just a quick tip so um, let's see film fix and general everything is set up here and uh, basically in the simulation mode when you uh, gonna do this you're gonna run in default mode first it means you're gonna actually sim it a couple of times so here, here it is you're gonna sim out in the default mode and when you got the motion the look uh, that you want then you're gonna sim it again but this time you're gonna ch uh, enable wavelet uh, and then you're gonna sim it again so another <coughs> before you do that with the first default sim you make go into the simulation go all the way down and the extra detail enable wavelet turbulence so do that now if you're not gonna use wavelet turbulence don't use this because it will just make unnecessary computer power it's gonna calculate a lot of a lot of voxels unnecessary um, and let's go up again to the generals uh, all the way up here so you will do that where with the default first so that's what we're gonna sim as the default and let's just make a couple of adjustments here before we start the sim. Time scale 1.5. Gravity is fine. Morticity, bring that a bit down. Turbulence 2. Detail level up. Scale down to 5. Blocking side on the C. And we don't need fuel smoke it's okay we can put that to 20 
temperature is fine for now illumination we did that okay so let's actually see what we get here when we hit the render button oh sorry sim button and immediately you see I'm just gonna stop it here that um, I want them to be filled up so go back to the object source and instead of solid choose volume and go back so now it's filled up we're just gonna sim a couple of frames here and let's stop it so here you have the default smoke and we go back to film effects so general tab and keep this in mind the spacing is 2.3 when you're gonna use wavelet you don't want to uh, increase the spacing too much because that's how wavelet is gonna uh, in interpolate it and that's how it's gonna calculate it's gonna actually add up so how it works it's when you go into the wavelet turbulence processing here then the grid detail value you're gonna use here I would always or well, normally use free the value you use in here this is a uh, the grid spacing that is going to be calculating with the grid spacing is going to divide with this with the spacing from the default so if you go back to general so we have we have a grid detail scale of three here and in the simulation uh, sorry in our spacing we have 2.4 if we round up that would mean if we go in and bring up my calculator here it will mean that it will gonna divide 2.4 uh, with three, which is the grid spacing we use from the wavelet turbulence um, post processing, and then you're gonna end up with a final spacing with 0 0.8. So keep that in mind. So it's gonna increase a lot. So imagine that if you had your spacing here set to uh, one, if you were looking for really high detail from the beginning. Now that that value one divided with three, you would end up with a spacing of 0 0.3, and that just gonna take forever to sim, and um, it can produce some uh, unnecessary artifacts. So just keep that in mind. So this was our default. Uh, this was our default sim. So now you you got the default sim, uh, and you're happy with how uh, it looks, then you would. Uh, Go into the default and change your simulation mode from default to wavelet. Uh, by the way, the initial state, what the initial state uh, does, uh, is just it's gonna take like a snap uh, snapshot from a frame uh, from inside your simulation, and it's gonna just run from there. So let's say you, you had this filled up uh, and. Uh, you had a tank or container object filled up with smoke uh, and you simmed it 100 frames and at, 100, at, at frame 100 you like how, how it looked then you would just freeze it from there and use that as an initial state but we're gonna use wavelet for now and um, the paths is set up from before so while the wavelet is a uh, wavelet is uh, enabled then uh, make sure that you increase this uh, to free and also the strength the strength value here it just controls how much the wavelet um, the, how much detail will be added keep in mind that a high value that will result in a or well, could result in visible artifacts so let's keep it for this for now and then we will sim it again All right, so we just simmed a couple of frames here. So let's just stop it here. And uh, before you would render at this point, then this is the last and important step, the playback cache type. So you would change this from default to wavelet. But remember the step we had before where we start simming uh, with the wavelet on, you should not have wavelet on at that point, you only default. When you're done simulating with your wavelet, then you should switch over to wavelet before you start to actually uh, render it out 
So that's pretty important to remember. And as you see, just very quick, these are all the wavelets we get. Uh, and uh, of course, we have added a lot of turbulence inside, but you get like, much fine details on it. And this, keep in mind, this very, very low sim. Um, just want to show another picture here. Here we also have it on from an explosion. Uh, this took a lot longer to run uh, to uh, sim out than the, this low risk. So you can really get some nice detailing by doing this. Just one last thing. I also got the question that uh, while uh, every time, uh, or the most of the time when I have my film fix uh, layout laid out like this, I also have the Arnold. So they asked me how would it normally be with Arnold. Uh, the setup. I mean, I already did a, a couple of tutorials on that, so please check that out. But um, if we just quickly run through it again, let's see here. If we, we go into the rendering, um, inside the the rendering, we would uh, change the shader here uh, on the volume shading from standard to Fimofix Arnold, right here. And uh, you would disable the fire fuel because we just have smoke. Then we go to create. Arnold. And let's see here. We will go down to volume and a standard volume. And this volume, we we'll just put that on top of the fume fix. So now we have that on. And let's open up the IP IPR. We get this cube-like shape for now. Let's open the standard volume here. All right. So in here, let's see. In here, the density. The density, let's crank that up a bit. 2.5. Um, and of course, change the text channel text name to smoke. Remember the capital S. Now you start to see them in here. You could, uh, let's just try ridiculous clean put them up to 12 and for the scattering here we could change the color where you needed that maybe make them a little bit more dark here like so that's also look pretty cool um, and for the transparency let's almost make it white we'll just sharpen out uh, some of the artifacts around the object and uh, for the emission remember Rename to smoke again, uh, and also on the black body, uh, change change to smoke as well here. And the last thing here we would need to do is uh, play with the Kelvin here. Right now it's five thousand. Yeah. Let's go down five hundred, two hundred. So. If you want only that smoke look like, you should use low, uh, low uh, values. But if you go up, you will uh, add in some detail for fiery look again. So let's see. Now you get some coloring for fire. That was what thousand. Let's say two thousand. Then you see this almost illuminated yellowish uh, color inside. What about fifteen hundred? 1200 and density of 50 so just by playing with these you get some really nice looking let's close this one down and do a quick rinse. all right guys so there we have it there we have it the final version here where we used a default sim first then we simmed it again with a wavelet on to get these finer details and then finally we rendered it out with Arnold uh, where we really played with the Kelvin, so the, the temperature where we could really change the coloring of the final look. So um, that's it, guys. Very short uh, summary here in Fumifix. Just want to brief recap back again when you start from the beginning. Everything is on default. You're going to run your simulation as a default. When you have the look you're going for, remember in your simulation tab, enable the wavelet turbulence here. When you enable that, then you go in and you make your 
your uh, default simulation and uh, remember your spacing do not increase it too much because it's going to be increased with the overall grid space details we're going to put in the value you're going to put in in this tab uh, the wavelet turbulence uh, post and uh, that's the this wavelet turbulence detail here so remember this value here your default spacing value will be divided with this value you have here and then you get your final look so don't go too crazy with this value here from the beginning just find the look you want then lower it a little bit down and then uh, you uh, when you don't when you finish your default simp you're gonna uh, go back and change the simulation mode from default to wavelet run the sim again and before you run the sim at this point remember change this value I wouldn't go too much uh, too much high, I just use the value of 3 sim it out and when you're done sim it then before you go into rendering mode then remember to change the default from playback cache type to wavelet just before you render so that's it thank you guys sorry for this quick tip we came 16 minutes but uh, i hope you find it useful please subscribe and i'll keep making these uh, film effects videos thank you very much bye